Back when I first started using After Effects, I wish there was a button to do all the boring stuff inside After Effects. And luckily today, I'm going to show you how to make your own custom scripts to create your own plugins inside After Effects. And you don't need to know anything about coding or you need to be smart or whatever, but you just need to ask ChatGPT what you want and it's going to spit out a lot of scripts. And I'm going to show you how to install that inside After Effects and ease your workflow. And I'm sure this is going to change your workflow forever because you're going to do things much faster and in a better quality. As we all know, AI is taking over our jobs, but I'm going to show you also how to take someone else's job in the editing world. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. But before that, make sure to like and subscribe this video so that it helps YouTube know that this video is great. Oh my God! Wow! So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Now we're inside our computer and let's go and ask ChatGPT what we want and we're going to take the script and plug it into inside After Effects. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to ask what we want. For example, creating a new layer or a solid object is you have to press right click and then press some buttons inside After Effects and two, two clicks is a lot. So I'm going to ask it to create a button that creates a new object and centers it inside the middle. So let's write that. So I'm going to type like write me a script that creates a new object and certains into, into composition. Here maybe I'll add after effect script that creates a new object and centers it in, inside the composition. So just press this one and let's see what it comes up. So it's going to give us a JS file. JSX is a JavaScript library so we're going to it's going to write the function using that one so all you got to do is copy this and go inside your after effects and maybe create a new text file go to new maybe in some in some folder or i'll just do it on a desktop and here you could say like script ae and it's not going to be txt file it's going to be js and then press ok and once change it, yes. And open this one. And you can open this using, I'm using VS Code, but you can use Notepad for this. It doesn't really matter. But I recommend using Visual Studio Code because I'll show you how to even customize this even more. And just copy and paste this code and press Control C. And you can do this using the Notepad, like I said. And you don't have to download this, but I prefer using this. So. If you're enjoying this video, consider supporting me on Patreon. You'll get exclusive project files, bonus content, and help me keep creating more videos for you. The link is in the description. After you save this, just minimize this and copy this file by Control C, and then go to your folder and to your desktop PC, and then go to Program Files, and then go to Adobe and the current Adobe version you're using and go to support files and after support files search for scripts and click on the script and after you click on the script open the script UI panel and here is where you see all of the scripts you are using inside After Effects. For example, here I'm using FX Console. This is one of the most famous ones to search some effects and stuff inside After Effects. So what you're going to do is copy and paste this script file inside this folder. So make sure you follow this. You go to the After Effects, Support File Script and UI Script and press just continue. And this is going to put our script file inside After Effects. And what you're going to do here now is close this After Effects and restart it back again so that we can have the option to click it inside. So let's wait. Okay, now we are inside After Effects. And the next thing what I'm going to do is go to Windows and here inside Windows at the bottom, as you can see, now we have script. So just click, click on it and it says, please select or open a composition first. So it's not creating a button for us. There is no button. And this is actually great because I can show you how to debug this as well. So I'm going to put, put the script inside here and I'm going to go back to ChatGPT and ask it to create a button. Create a button and to click on it 
and it creates no layer something like this and let's see what it comes up with so this is a different script so just copy it and go back to your script.ae inside this script panels or you can go if you don't want to edit it directly you already have this inside your desktop so i'm just going to click it and select everything and paste the new code and control s and once we do that we, i'm going to copy this and paste it inside our script folder again and i'm going to replace it continue and it updates it so now again we have to restart after effects so restart it and the benefit of using this uh, script UI panel is you can dock it inside your After Effects panel. Docking means putting it inside the After Effects in one of it. For example, here. Now we have the script and if you can't find a script, go to Windows and click on it. And now, as you can see, we have this create centered move. And if we click on it, let me create a composition first. And if you click on this button, now it creates a new layer. And this is what it does. And using the same techniques, I have already created a bunch of tools here. For example, anchor point, pre-comp, center to comp. And this is these are the main effects and the main features that I'm using inside After Effects. And I called it Workflow X. And this is the first version of this uh, script uh, plugin that I made. And uh, as you can see, let's say create a composition. For example, you can create a composition easily like this, or you want to create a solid layer. All you got to do is just click. And if it's not centered, you can double click on this and you can center it. And this is what this does. So using the chat GPT, you can create different types of panel. And now I'm going to show you inside the VS Code how you can use another AI, uh, Microsoft Copilot, to use it and debug and even write more codes inside VS Code. And this is going to even revolutionize everything because you're editing inside the text file. You don't have to do copy and pasting a lot. So what you're going to do here is make sure you connect it to your GitHub account and once you connected GitHub Copilot, and now you have this chat box. And in this chat box, you can ask it anything. For example, here in here in this script, add button to maybe let's say create a solid layer, or maybe create a camera. Create a camera and just press enter. And this is going to spit out another another code. And all you gotta do is press this one. And what this is going to do is it's going to add the code inside in whatever that you want. And all you got to do is click those and press save. And once you save this thing, once you save it, all you got to do is since we're working on this desktop version, I'm going to copy and paste it inside this folder again and replace it. And we got to start After Effects as well. And you're going to see now it already updates it and have two buttons. So let's see. Now, as you can see here, create a camera and create a null. So I'm going to create a composition first and then let's say create a camera. And now we have a camera. It creates the camera and create a new layer. It creates the new layer. And this is the magic of this script file. So you can build your own plugin. And if you can take your time, you can create really good plugins that are customizable for you. And I already made this one for myself. So I'm going to share this script file in my Patreon. So make sure to go and check it out. And when time goes on, if you want more features inside this Workflow X, just comment down below and then I'll make sure add, I'll add it and share it to you guys as well. Uh, this is really exciting. And yeah, make sure to just uh, check it out on my Patreon. So this is what I have for you. And I hope you can use this and this will just uh, completely transform your workflow yeah thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe see you guys with another video thanks